guys, what's up James, always I here and welcome back to another Destiny video. Today I'm going to give the Red Death a review for you guys and give you my opinion on it for both Crucible and Vanguard activities. Now if you do have the Red Death, let me know in the comment section what you think about it. I hope a few of you do have it since Zur sold it last Friday. But before we get into the video, guys, I'll be helping as many of you guys run Crota's End tonight at 6pm GMT. Check the Crota's End video link in this video description for details. And before we jump into it, first is the question of the day. And today's question is, how many strange coins does Zur sell Red Death for? Is it A17? B20 or C23? Leave me your answer in the comment section and if you think your answer is correct, like the videos. I'm going to have four winners of this question in the next video description and I also have four winners of the last question in this video description. Okay guys, so I'm going to talk firstly about the Vanguard activity which includes strikes and raids. Now first up, anything with an elemental shield, this weapon is useless against. In Vanguard Rock Strikes, it will be fine if you take the shield down with a special or heavy weapon, then finish them off with Red Death. In the Nightfall or Weekly Heroic Strikes with a burn, I wouldn't recommend using this weapon as you can deal a whole lot more damage with a weapon that deals the elemental damage of which it is of that burn that week. Now, However, in Crota's End, this raid can be very, very useful as on normal mode you need a Chalice of Light to heal and on hard mode there is no Chalice of Light. So you either need this weapon or an armor piece to regen health. So I strongly recommend using this with Hunger of Crota if you have them both for Crota's End. Obviously, if you don't have them both, I would just recommend switching between the two, picking up your heavy ammo last and then switching back to your rocket launcher once you've healed. Now, I'm gonna talk about using Red Death in Destiny's Crucible. Now, as elemental damage doesn't matter in the Crucible, this weapon is a true contender and I recommend it. Now, it has two very useful perks and a very useful equipable upgrade. Now, the first perk is Unflinching, which will make it easier to aim and shoot when under fire. And the second perk is Red Death, which has two perks within the one. Each kill heals you and speeds up reloads. Now these two combined are very, very effective. Now if someone's shooting at you, you can shoot back easier being more accurate and if you manage to kill them, you instantly heal and get a fast reload ready for your next enemy. Also, I like to run high caliber rounds which causes your enemies to stagger making it harder for them to hit you. So all three of these combined give you a major advantage, especially in the Crucible. So I'd recommend this weapon in things like Vanguard Rock Strikes and Crota's End when defeating Crota and also in the Crucible. Now getting used to this weapon guys doesn't take long at all. Once you are used to it, you can be dominant wherever you play. Now that brings me to the end of this video and I hope you guys did enjoy it or found information useful. If you have smashed the like button, if you didn't, there's a dislike button. But if if you like and you are new around here, subscribe for more Destiny content right here on my channel. Don't forget to check out the video link in the description if you'd like help on Crota's End today. Now on screen there are some previous uploads of mine which will open in a new window when you click the image. I've been James Awizai, thank you all for watching and as always guys, I'll see you in the next video.